Samida Om Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today I want to ask a question. Are you ignoring traditional wisdom? Are you? Are you? So many people are. Or have you become so rigid in your beliefs that it is detrimental to your growth? So you're grabbing onto things and holding onto them, which we all do. We've all been conditioned to do that. We've all been conditioned to live in this meme and believe it's true. It's a matrix. That's what the film The Matrix is all about. You grab hold of this belief system and you hold on to it and you ignore everything. That's why you see common sense. Common sense, there it goes. It's going and it's, go it's gone. It's gone out. <laughs> so yes, are we ignoring traditional wisdom? Yes, I feel that we are. So it, it, following rules is, is good. You, know, the, you need rules. There was a... a Christian, I think it was on the Alpha course, not that I'm advocating that at all, or, but he's saying about a football game. He said, you've got a football game, you've got tw uh, 22 players, one referee, two linesmen, and just imagine if that football game had no rules. It would be chaos, it would be chaos, and you wouldn't know whether to stop the game because someone's been out of hand, or because there's no rules, you, you don't know, so anything goes. So for a certain way of organising things, rules are important, but when they start to trump, <laughs> trump common sense, whoo! <laughs> when they trump common sense, then that's when I, when I first started looking into rules and regulations of the law, I started scratching my head and going, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. It's gone out the window. Common sense has gone out the window. It's become away from common sense, what I would call natural law, which was the natural progression into common law, which is what you had in America and the UK. Common law. We got corpus juris in Europe. It was a different legal system. We had habeas corpus over here in the UK and America, which is really the beginnings of human beings becoming sovereign sovereign beings and that's really a traditional wisdom that you should be responsible i.e. have the ability to respond to anything in your life you need to be responsible and once you start to gain that wisdom that you are having to be responsible for what you do you become more responsible it doesn't mean you you stop messing about or playing the fool or having fun or relaxing or doing things that you need to do but you start to act responsibly, i.e. you don't do things that are outside of your common sense, your natural self, your true self, your inner wisdom that you have and your inner heart which you have as well. And we seem to be doing that now because we go, oh, got to follow the rules, got to follow the rules, follow the rules. Great thing now, uh, just coming out of this lockdown period, is that the, the wearing of masks, the wearing of masks, you've got two different thoughts sir. two different thoughts and it's important to weigh up both of them do they keep you safe there's one mask 95% of everything gets kept out but they're not anywhere it's these ones that are um, just the, the, the cloth ones 5% protect uh, effective and when they're tested for oxygen they take your oxygen down to about 16 to 17% oxygen in the air that you're breathing in through the mask that's coming down to dangerous levels, <laughs> dangerous levels. So people are getting headaches and dizziness and all this kind of stuff from wearing these masks for too long. Why are we being, why weren't we told that? When the two, these companies suddenly spring up and there's masks everywhere. We've been approached with our companies saying, well, we've got these masks for you. Here you go, do, do, you, want, do you want this? No, no, <laughs> I'm advocating wearing a mask. You're masking your face, you're masking your, to see the eyes. Do you know what I'm thinking? <laughs> no, you don't. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's madness. And where, why is this being advocated by the governments? And why is social distancing there? It's another crazy thing. Wisdom says to you, it's if this is an airborne virus, which from my research is saying that it is an airborne virus, then it doesn't matter what mask you put on unless you've got these ones that might 
got a 5% chance of catching it if you get the proper masks. Or if you're two meters away from someone, I don't know if they just walk through that area and it's an airborne virus and they release the virus out of their body somehow, like coughing or sneezing or even breathing out, you walk through that air, you're going to get that virus. It doesn't matter how many miles away you are from them, if you walk through that area and it's still surviving in that area, it just hangs in the air, this virus. You're going to get it. So this social distancing is all completely crazy and this is the only time in human history that healthy people have been quarantined. The only time in human history healthy people have been quarantined. So you've got a timeline that tells you and if you've got any wisdom or thought up upstairs still going on you'll see the timeline 2010 Rockefellers came out with a report saying this exact scenario is going to happen didn't say I don't think it gave the date but 2020 they've always been going for 2020 2021 agenda 21 it's from the UN and then you had event 201 which happened 2019, just before the patent was put onto the SARS-CoV-2 virus. You cannot patent something that is natural, naturally occurring. You can't paint a head of broccoli, for instance, that has been tried. <laughs> it's been tried. My goodness. What are these people thinking? Trying to paint a head of broccoli. No, but this virus was painted and then all of a sudden it came out, in, mainly in Wudang and in Italy. And now you've got patents springing up for the vaccines, which are, it's all the same people behind it. And you just do a little bit of research, just a little bit of research, look past the matrix, past the meme that you're putting. Use your wisdom, your traditional wisdom, the wisdom inside of you to go past the veil that's put across your eyes to go through and go into what is really going on. And the agenda, what is really going on is Pretty, it's actually pretty serious. So we're being asked to follow rules at the moment in our society that are devoid of common sense. Devoid, completely devoid of common sense. We're living in a world where we're taking in neurotoxins all the time. And yet when you question, when I question the chemist up the road, so well, why have you given me something with a neurotoxin? He said, well, there's only a little bit in it. There's only a little bit in it. And I said, well, Surely you realise that cancer is coming to, to one in two of us. She goes, well, that's a lifestyle choice. And I said, yes, I'm choosing not to put this garbage in my body. So what else have you got that's an alternative? Nothing. So they had to order some special stuff for me to take, which was safer. Safer. This was a while ago. I try not to take anything that they, they produce now, any, any pharmaceutical drug. And I, I have empathy for people who are stuck in this circle and cycle but it's really 95% of your ailments will be healed through eating properly and exercising those two things well five keys to health I've got it on this video channel here five keys to health or Dr. John Bergman go, go and watch his videos five keys to health to bring it out bring your wisdom back to you so that you think well if I do that this is going to happen if I do that that's going to happen if I follow that that's dangerous and where we're being asked to go now is very, very dangerous as far as I'm concerned. You've got this 5G network, you're going to have nanotechnology coming around you, which is going to track and trace everything. So everything's going to have like all the cameras you've got around you, your, your computers, your fridges, your toasters, all going to be smart technology with a little chip in it. And they're going to track and trace every aspect of your life. And they're even talking about reading thoughts now, reading thoughts because it's, everything is just a vibration. You can tap into these vibrations. This is why I suggest learn Qigong. Learn Qigong yoga, breathing techniques. Tap into your own inner vibration and find your traditional wisdom and break free from this garbage. Garbage, absolute garbage. <laughs> it's been thrust onto you. It's being thrust onto you and you need to see it. And how you do that is to wake up your traditional wisdom. It's all in there. It's all in there. Everything you need to know is in there. And this is just lessons for you to go back to yourself and learn it or relearn it or re regurgitate it. And then speak your truth. Speak your truth. Always speak your truth. Don't be hemmed in by what other people think or what other people are saying or even what the mainstream media is saying because it's all an illusion and 
They've been caught out so many times now, so many times. And there's an enormous energy battle going on at the moment on our world. And for each of us to raise our vibrations, bring back our traditional wisdom, bring back what we really are as human beings and start to really recognize that as what we are and what we're capable of. Hey, who knows what's gonna come around the corner. Good things, I wish good, for, good things for you, good things for me, good things for everybody. So thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Sarang Hamida.